Hey friend, welcome back. I am so glad that you're here. If you are new, my name is Shandy, and today I thought we could knit together. Go ahead and grab some tea and grab a snack and get your yarn ready. I'm gonna be showing you today how to work the cables in our poncho-esque pattern. would love to follow along, you can get the pattern at expressionfiberarts.com. I will be showing you how to cable with a needle and without. This is super exciting because this just might change your cabling life. I'll be showing the first few rows with a cable needle, and then once you get comfortable with that, we're gonna jump into cabling without a cable needle. And I promise you it is great for this pattern because you're only crossing one or two stitches over at a time. So it's gonna speed the process up significantly for you. And should you ever run into cables in other patterns, you can use this trick. So I really think you're gonna enjoy it. We're gonna start with row one using a cable needle. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. We're gonna start row one by purling three stitches. One, two, three. Then we're jumping right into our first cable. We're gonna start with an LPC, which is a left purl cross. So what you do is drop your right needle and grab your cable needle, and you're gonna slip two stitches to your cable needle and hold those into the front of your work. Slip one, slip two, and just let those rest in the front of your work. Now you're gonna purl one, Bring your yarn to the front, purl one. Now we're gonna knit two stitches from our cable needle. So you'll slide those down to the end and go ahead and knit those two stitches just right off of your cable needle. One and two. And that is our first cable worked. All right, next we're going to set down our cable needle for a second and we're going to purl two. One, and two. Now we're gonna do an RPC. To do a right purl cross, you're gonna slip one stitch to your cable needle and hold it in the back of your work. Pick up your cable needle again, slide one stitch off and just hold that to the back of your work and just get it out of the way so it's not interfering with your knitting. All right, now you're gonna knit two. One, two. Now we're going to purl one from our cable needle. Go ahead and slide that up. And then you're going to purl that stitch right off of your cable needle like so. Okay, now we're gonna do a left purl cross, which is an LPC. So, slip two stitches to your cable needle and hold in the front of your work. Slip and slip. Okay, now you're gonna purl one. Now you're gonna knit two stitches from your cable needle. Slide those down to the end of your cable needle and go ahead and knit those directly off of that. All right, there you go. You are doing great. All right, <laughs> drop that cable needle. We're going ahead. We're going to go ahead and repeat what we just did. So purl two, bring your yarn to the front. Purl one, purl two. Now we're doing an RPC, a right purl cross again. Slip one stitch onto your cable needle and hold in the back of your work. Just slip that off, get it out of the way of your thread. Go ahead and knit two stitches. One, two, and then you're going to purl the stitch that is left on your cable needle. So reach through there and just purl that stitch. All right, now we're gonna do an 
L an LPC, which is a left pearl cross again. You're going to be doing a lot of these in this pattern. Again, slip two stitches to your cable needle, bloop, bloop, and hold in the front of your work. Purl one. Now you're going to knit two stitches from your cable needle, slide those down to the end, knit one, knit two, Go ahead and drop your cable needle for a second. Bring your yarn to the front and purl two. One, two. Now we're gonna do an RPC, right purl cross. So slip one stitch to your cable needle and hold in the back of your work. And again, just get it out of the way so it's not interfering with your stitching. And then you're going to knit two. One, two, then you're going to purl one from that cable needle. <laughs> this gets exciting. I'm trying to keep those final three stitches on that left needle. Okay, drop your cable needle, bloop, and then for those final three stitches, you're just gonna purl those. One, two, and three. And row one is done, yay! For row two, this is gonna be a really great skill to learn too. You are actually going to be knitting the knits and purling the purls. And if you have no idea what that means, I'm gonna be showing you. This is so great to know if you are a beginner knitter. It's really gonna be helpful. So this is going to apply to all even numbered rows. Knit the knits and purl the purls. Let me show you how that goes. For row two, we are going to knit the knits and purl the purls. And I'm gonna to try to explain this so it's crystal clear because I could see how this might be confusing. You, when, whenever you come to a V on this row, those are knit stitches, so you are going to knit them. When you come to pearl bumps or pearl necklaces, as I like to think of them, you're going to pearl those stitches. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Shandy, we actually purled these first few stitches when we did the previous row. I know, but we're now on the back side, so they now resemble, and they are, knit stitches. So it doesn't matter what you did on the previous row, just go off what you see here visually. Let me demonstrate. When you come to a V, it is a knit stitch, so you're gonna knit it. Now you look at the next one, another little V here. So we're gonna knit it. Another V, we knit it. Another V, so this is one of our crossed over cable stitches, but it is still a V, so that's a knit, so we're gonna knit it. That's what it means to knit the knits. And then when you come to any stitch that has a little pearl necklace on, it's so fancy, bring your yarn to the front and you're gonna purl it. Here's another one with a little pearl necklace on, so we purl it. This one is a V, we knit it. Again, it does not matter, what you did on the previous row, I want you to forget about that for a minute. There's a V, so we knit it. Just go off what you see visually. So this is a little pearl bump, we're gonna purl it. This is knitting the knits and purling the pearls. That's a V, so we knit it. That's a V, we knit it. And continue all the way across your row. We've got a couple pearl stitches here, so we purl both of those. I hope that makes sense. There's another V. It took me many years to realize that the backside of a knit stitch is a purl stitch, and the backside of a purl stitch is a knit stitch. I know, it's so obvious, but I just didn't realize that for a couple years. <laughs> okay, there's another V. We knit it. Oh, couple pearl necklaces. We've got a couple fancy ladies here. We're gonna purl those babies. And then a V. We knit it. And this is such a good skill to have in your knitting, really to be able to see the knits and the pearls like this. Purl the next two, and we've got knit stitch, there's a V, knit stitch, there's a V, knit, and finally knit. So I hope that helped to clear up that concept for you. 
Now that I've shown you how to use a cable needle, let's go ahead and set that aside. We don't need it anymore. And I'll be demonstrating row three without a cable needle. Row number three, here's how we do this without a cable needle. We're gonna start this row with a purl four. Nice and easy, getting this warmed up. Two, three, four. Now we have an LPC, a left purl cross. Normally, we would slip two stitches onto our cable needle and hole in the front of our work, and then we would purl one. What we're gonna do instead is reach behind and grab that stitch that we were gonna purl and pop that onto our right needle. Okay, here's the scary part. Don't be afraid. Grab those two stitches right here. I like to just pinch them with my fingers and slide them off. Remove your left needle, bloop, and pop them right back on. And then slide that stitch from your right needle onto your left needle. Then you'll work them as you would if you were using a cable needle. So for this, it is purl one, knit two. Purl one, knit two. So that is a technique. Now let's do an RPC, a right purl cross. Normally we would slip one stitch to our cable needle and hold in the back of our work and then knit two. What we're gonna do is grab these two stitches here. Go ahead and grab this one and pop it off. Bloop, bloop. Slide it right back onto your left needle and then pop these two stitches back onto your left needle. Then you're gonna knit them as if you would if you were using a cable needle, which is knit two, purl one. Knit two and purl one. Okay, now we're gonna do a purl two. One, two. All right, let's do that again. Let's do a left purl cross. Normally we'd slip two stitches to our cable needle and hold in the front. So what we're gonna do is reach behind and grab that stitch back here. Slide the two stitches off, pinching them in our fingers. Slide your left needle out. Pop those two stitches back on your left needle and then pop that stitch back onto your left needle and then work the stitches as you would. Purl one. and then knit two. And once you get the hang of this, it's gonna be much faster than using that cable needle. Let's do an RPC again. Normally, normally you'd slip one stitch to your cable needle and hold in the back of your work and then knit two. So what we're gonna do is grab these two stitches here, pop that little stitch off, pinching it, pop those two off, slide that one back onto our left needle, slide these two back onto our left needle, and then work them as if we would have, which is knit two and purl one. Okay, now the pattern says to purl two, so let's do that. And let's go ahead and do both of those cables again. LPC, so normally you'd slip two stitches to your cable needle and hold in the front and then purl one. So we're gonna reach behind, grab that one, slide these two off, pop, slide, pop, and then work them as if we would, which would be a purl one, knit two. Now let's do an RPC. So normally we would slip one stitch to our cable needle and hold in the back and then knit two. So what we're gonna do is grab those two, pop this one off, slide those two off, pop that one back on, slide these two back on, and then knit them as if we would have, which is knit two, purl one. Then we're gonna purl two. That finishes up our little repeating sequence. And then finally purl those last two stitches. And there you go. For row four, you're gonna repeat row two. The stitches will be different, but the concept is the same as it is an even row. So you knit the knits and purl the purls. 
All right, another fun row. Let's go ahead and jump in. When you come to the V's, they look like knit stitches, so you're going to knit them. Again, it doesn't matter how you worked those stitches on the previous row. You actually purled them, but on this side, they look like knit stitches, so we're going to knit them. Continue along. You're just going to get so good at this. Here's some little pearl necklaces, some fancy ladies up in here. We're going to pearl those ladies. Yes, we are. Pearl, pearl, pearl. Whoop, some knit stitches. Knit, knit. It's just going to become second nature. This is such a great skill to know. Oh, there's some pearls. For knitting anything, really. Pearl, pearl that one. There's a V, so we're going to knit it. Knit. And I hope you're starting to see what I'm talking about. When you come to a V, you knit it. When you come to a little pearl bump, just think of it as having a little pearl necklace on. That'll help you remember. You're going to purl it, so knit the knits and purl the pearls. Knit the knits and purl the pearls. Knit, knit, and knit. Super easy. I hope you're starting to figure out this concept for this cabling pattern. Let's go ahead and practice some more. I'm going to show you how to work row five again without a cable needle. To start row five, we're going to begin with a purl five. Let's go ahead and do that first, nice and easy. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to do what's called an RC or a right cross. Normally, we would slip two stitches to our cable needle and hold in the back of our work and then knit two. So what we're going to actually do is grab these two stitches with our right needle, like so. Slide these two off, pop. Slide these two off, pop. Slide those back on. This is so exciting. It just feels like magic. Slide those two back on. Now everything is perfectly in position, so we're just going to knit those four stitches. One, two, three, four. And that is an RC. Now we're going to purl four. One, two, three, and four. And let's do an RC again. So since we would normally slip two stitches and hold them to the back of our work, we're going to reach around the front and grab the next two stitches onto our right needle. Slide those first two off, slide the next two off, slide those first two back on, thus crossing the stitches, and then slide those two back on, and then knit them. Isn't this so great? It's actually meditative. I love it so much. It's wonderful if you're chatting with friends, if you're watching TV, it's nice and easy. Then you're gonna purl four. One, two, three, four, and we're going to do it again. So grab these two stitches here, pop two off, slide those two off, pop the two back on, slide these two on and knit those. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to finish that row by purling all the remaining stitches. Two, four, and then five. And there you go. For row six, we're going to do the same as we do for all even numbered rows. Knit the knits and purl the pearls. Knit the knits and purl the pearls. Row six looks like we're starting with a V here. So you know what to do. We're going to knit it. We're going to knit that next stitch. And yep, knit it. And you're going to find as you go along on these even numbered rows that whatever stitch you worked on the previous row, let's say you worked a purl, you actually end up knitting it on this row and vice versa. If you knitted a stitch on the previous row, you're going to purl it on this one. I know it's quite magical. So these have little purl bumps, so we're purling them. When you come to a V, you knit them. And I hope you're getting the hang of this. It's just going to become second nature. Pearl necklace the more you practice. Practice, practice, practice. If it's confusing at first, just let your brain rest a little bit, come back, 
These are all V's, which I can see, so I'm knitting them. And you'll get it. Boom. You are doing so great. Let's keep on going and jump into row seven. Row seven, let's go ahead and start with a purl four. Yeah, baby. Three and four. Okay, now we're gonna do an RPC. So since normally we would slip one stitch to our cable needle and hold in the back of our work and then knit two, we're gonna reach around the front with our right needle, grab two, you know how to do this, slide one off, pop those two off, slide that back on, pop these two back on, do, do, and then work them as if you would. So you're going to knit two, purl one, knit two, and purl one. Now we're gonna do an LPC. So normally you'd slip two stitches to your cable needle and hold in the front of your work and then purl one. So we're gonna reach behind, grab one, slide these two off, pop them back on, slide this one on and work them as we would, which is a purl one and then a knit two. I hope this is making more sense for you. All right, the pattern now says to purl two, and then we're gonna repeat that sequencing we just did two more times. RPC. So you're going to grab two stitches, slide one off, bloop, bloop, pop it back on, pop, pop, then knit two, purl one, knit two, purl one, LPC, we're gonna grab one stitch back here, pop two off, boop, boop, pop them back on, pop this one back on, and then purl one, knit two. Okay, now we purl two, and let's do it one more time. You've got this. Okay, right purl cross. Normally you'd slip one stitch to your cable needle and hold in the back, so we're gonna reach around the front and grab the two that we're gonna knit, slide that one off, pop it on, pop these two on, then knit two, purl one. Purl one. And then an LPC, so reach behind, grab that one stitch, slide two off, pinching them, pop them back on, Pop that one back on, purl one, knit two. Then we're gonna finish up that row by purling the final four stitches. One, two, three, and four. There you go. Now we're onto row eight, and what do we do for even numbered rows? Knit the knits and purl the purls. I thought you were gonna keep going. <laughs> row eight, here we go. V, what do we do? We knit it. V, what do we do? We knit it. Same as all of the even numbered rows. Little pearl necklace gal here, so we're gonna pearl her. I like making up little things like that to help me remember what I'm doing in my knitting, so if something else works better for you, then go for that. But I like to think of little pearl necklaces. These are little fancy ladies sitting here, just having their Afternoon tea. Okay, there we go, purl, purl. Knit stitches, we're gonna knit them, we're gonna knit them. Yarn to the front, we're gonna purl these with the little pearl necklaces on. We're gonna knit the next ones. Purl those next two, and you've got it. I know you're doing so great. And we're gonna finish up this row with four knit stitches. Super fun, super exciting. Now for row number nine, we are not crossing any stitches. We don't have any cables on this row. It is just knits and purls. So a nice relaxing row. Row nine starts with a purl four. One, two, three, Four. And this is a nice and easy row. We don't have any cables on this row. We're just gonna repeat across, knit two, purl two, six times. Let's do that. Knit, 
two, purl, two. That's one, knit, two, purl, two. That's two, knit. This sounds like an exercise video. Two, purl, <laughs> two. And breathe, knit. That was three. Two, purl, <laughs> two. That's four, knit, two, purl, two. That's five, knit, two. We've almost got it, purl, two. And then you complete the row by purling two. Love that so much. Row 10, we're back to the wrong side, which is an even numbered row. So knit those knits and purl those purls. All right, row 10, let's jump in. We start with some V's here, so we're gonna knit them. V, knit, knit, knit. Here's some pearls, so we're gonna purl them. Now, we're doing the same concept on this row, even though we didn't have any cables on row nine, we're doing the same concept we do for all even rows, and that is to knit the knits and purl the pearls. If you just keep that in mind, you should be golden. And you'll see it's actually ending, ending up being the same sequence from our previous row, which is knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two. Of course it is reversed because what we actually knitted on the previous row we're purling right now. But if that confuses you, ignore that and just knit the knits and purl the pearls. Two, three, and four. Now we're on to row 11 and we are jumping back into cables again and I'm gonna show you how to work this row. Now, even if you aren't gonna make this specific pattern, I hope you're following along because just having this little swatch made up is really gonna help you learn this technique. Row 11, baby. Let's start with a purl four. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna do an LPC, a left purl cross. How do we do that? You know how. Grab a stitch back here and slide two off. Pop them back on and pop this one back on. Then we're gonna purl one and knit two. Knit two. Now for an RPC, so reach around the front with your right needle, grab two stitches, slide one off, pop, pop, pop. Pop that one back on. Pop that one back on, pop that one back on, and then knit two, purl one. You have got this, I know you do, you're so good. Okay, next up in the pattern it says to purl two, so that is what we're gonna do. Now let's repeat that cable sequencing two more times. LPC, and I hope you start to memorize these stitches. I think you will once you get going in your pattern. Slide those two back on, slide that one back on. Purl one, knit two, knit two. Now an RPC, your right needle's in the front. Grab two, slide one off. I always feel so powerful when I'm doing this. Like, haha, if I can do this, I can do anything in life. And then knit two, purl one. Purl one. Now we're gonna purl two, and then let's do that one more time. Okay, we're gonna do an LPC, so we're gonna grab one stitch back here, slide two off, put them back on, put this one back on, purl one, knit two. Now an RPC, so grab two, Slide one off. And just take your time with this. There's no need to rush. You don't wanna drop a stitch because that just adds to your, your time and your frustration. Knit those two, purl the next one. And then you're gonna go ahead and finish up this row by purling two stitches and then purling two more stitches. So purl four and there you go. Row 12, you know exactly what to do. Just look for those knit stitches and knit them. Look for the pearls and purl them. Okay, row 12, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna start by knitting these Vs. And 
And then when we come to the purl stitches, bring your yarn to the front and purl those. And just make sure it doesn't matter if you're knitting with the yarn held in your left hand or in your right hand. When you're knitting, your yarn is in the back. Then when you're purling, bloop, your yarn is in the front. That'll keep everything looking beautiful. If you are enjoying this style of long form tutorial, definitely let us know in the comments. We'd be happy to hear your feedback on that. So go ahead and keep purling the pearls, knitting the knits, and I think we're going to finish out this row with knit stitches. Super exciting! Let's go ahead and finish up this tutorial with row 13. I feel like you've got this. So if you can do these stitches, you can do the rest of the pattern for sure. Okay, let's do row 13, starting with a purl five. I hope you're having an absolute blast. I know that I am. Oops. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, and we have come upon an RC, a right cross. So if you'll remember, normally you would slip two stitches and hold in the back of your work and then knit the next two. So we're gonna actually grab these two. We're just so greedy, grabbing stuff right and left. Slide those two off, slide those two off. Pop, pop, twist these around, pop, pop. And then knit those. And you can see that makes a right leaning cable. Three and four. Now we're going to purl four. One, two, three, and four. And we're gonna repeat that cable sequencing two more times. So let's reach our needle in the front and grab these two here. And you'll notice when you're doing right cross cables, your right needle is gonna be in the front here when you're grabbing those. I hope that helps you to remember. Slide those two off, slide those two back on. You can see how it twists over to the right and then knit those four stitches. Knit, two, three, four, and then purl, two, three, four, one more time, a right, a right cross, RC, grab two, slide two off, slide two more off, pop those two back on, pop those two on, and then knit them. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna finish this row by purling all of the stitches. Two, three, four, and five. And you've got it. Look at that, so beautiful. You can see what we've created here. Look at these absolutely gorgeous cables. They just pop off that background. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Thank you for knitting with me today. I hope you had a blast. I know I did. And truly, thank you so much for joining me each Friday for our tutorials. It means a lot. Sending you big hugs and warm wishes for a beautiful day. I'm gonna see you next time. Bye-bye.